Janela Andre and Papa. I'm from St. Augustine Mandalay Branch from Curly Hair Course. In this video, I'm going to show you what is the proper way of making a baby milk using a baby milk formula. Before we proceed to the procedure, make sure to wash our hands and clean the workplace we're going to make the infant formula. the right amount of water. You can also use a hot water to easily dissolve the milk formula inside of the bottle. Next, choose the scoop. Measure the right number of scoop into the bottle. Level of your scoop. If you can see excess milk, remove it by using a knife. Because too much milk for the baby, it will cause a constipation. forget remember don't choose your fingers when removing the excess milk because there is a chances that your finger has a small microorganism next seal the bottle with the ring and cup and gently shake the bottle vigorously oh don't mix it incorrectly more shaking, more air bubbles get into the mix. As you can see, there's a bubble formulation inside the bottle. It will cause a colic to your baby. After mixing, remove the cup. Check first the temperature of the formula by placing a small drop on your wrist. Make sure the milk it's not too hot for the baby. It should be warm. Once the procedure is done, you can finally feed your baby. And that's all the procedure on how to feed your baby using a baby milk formula. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Janela Andre M. Barb. For today's video, I'm going to present you with the proper way of feeding your baby. Infant formula is also a safe, healthy way to feed your baby in some health situation. Your pediatrician may recommend it. Formulas can be different ingredients. Some are cow's milk, protein-based, some are soy-based. If you have questions about which formula to use, please discuss the options with your pediatrician. Feeding is a great way of bonding between the mother and the baby or between the caregiver and the baby. But make sure before you feed the baby, the feeding bottle should clean and already sterilized to keep your baby safe and healthy. This is the proper way of feeding your baby. Hold your baby in upright position, supporting their head and neck using your head. Touch the bottle, nipple in their mouth to encourage them to open their mouth. Remember, the nipple should not full when feeding so that the baby will not be 
choking. Put the nipple horizontally so that the nipple not to not to the nipple, allowing the baby drink at their own pace. Don't feed your baby in lying down position. Always remember, don't feed your baby in lying down position because there's a chance that the baby will drink the formula and can flow into this middle ear. To prevent your baby from swallowing air as they suck, tilt the bottle so that the formula fills the neck and the bottle covers the nipple. And that is the proper way of feeding your baby. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Janela Andrea and Barba. Today, I'm going to present to you a video presentation about burping. Today, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the proper technique of burping a baby. Burping is an important procedure after the baby feeding. There's, there is a three reasons why it's important. Number one, this is a way to release the gas. This air is taken during the feedings. Next, babies feel better after burping. And lastly, this activity helps stimulate the baby. So, I'm going to show you now the burping proper technique. Carry your baby carefully. Use your right hand to support his head and the left hand is in his buttocks. Is hold your baby sitting up. In your lap or across your knee, support your baby's chest and lead with one hand by grabbing your baby's chin in the palm of your hand. Rest the heel of your hand on your baby's chest, but be careful to grip your baby's chin, not the throat, and use your other hand to pat your baby's back. The last technique is lay your baby on your lap on his belly. Support your baby's head and make sure it's higher than his chest. Gently pat your baby's back. 